This year's Computex coverage is brought to you by MSI, Thermaltake, Corsair, and Be Quiet. Wait, so you're telling me you've named your new case the H7? Yes, that's right, NZXT has a brand new case called the H7. Back in 2022, they released the H7, but now they've kicked it to the curb. <laughs> <laughs> no, they haven't kicked it to the curb. They haven't given up on it. They've actually renamed it the H7 2022. And now we have the new and improved version, the H7 2024. So what features can we expect with this case? Well, first of all, you can get it in black and white. So that's always a positive, much like any case on the market. But it has a brand new refresh. You can notice that it is much taller than its predecessor as well, but it has a lot more features in there too. Now, one thing I did notice is they have kept their signature cable bracket accessory in there and this case is EATX compatible but to fit an EATX motherboard you actually do need to move and shift the cable bracket to the right hand side a bit more. Another unique feature about this case is they actually have the fans recessed down into the bottom now. So what this allows us to do is actually thin down the case a bit more because we now have a bit of room at the back there to actually side mount the power supply, turn it vertical so that we can actually keep the case nice and thin. So I guess you could call it semi-dual chamber in a way. Now radiator compatibility, that's what we wanna know. So at the front here, we can actually fit a 420 millimeter radiator. At the top here, a 360 millimeter radiator. Now, if you want to get crafty, I'm sure we could try and squeeze something in down the bottom, but it's going to be very hard. Maybe some minor modifications needed, but if you want to take it as stock 420 and 360, it's going to be plenty of cooling, especially for the newest RTX series card. And if you wanted to get a 14900K, for example, plenty of cooling for that as well. So the front of the case, the top of the case, the rear of the case, and the back of the case, they all have holes in the mesh for easy ventilation. So this case is going to be nice and cool, especially with the extra fans bringing nice fresh air up and straight into the GPU, keeping it nice and cool. So here's a look at the back of the case here. You can see that we've got the vertical mounted power supply in there. It's fitting nice and snug. And all of the cables actually have a cable routing channel going through and around the build. We also have plenty of storage options as well. So you can fit SSDs, hard drives, plenty of options there, and down the bottom as well. Plus, NZXT now have their brand new fan controller. What's unique about this? Well, it actually has four different channels where you can actually mount their new fans to. Now, this right here, they're not magnetized together. It's not daisy chain. They're actually one unit. You can actually get them in 240, 280, and 360 millimeters. And because they're all joined together, it actually provides a bit more rigidity to it. And it only requires four screws to actually be installed. The best part about it is the lighting and the power is all just one cable. Absolutely brilliant. So this controller right here, it's gonna connect to NZXT cam, and it's gonna provide plenty of cooling for the entire case. So here's a bit of a look at them with the RGB going. You can see it's actually got side illumination as well. So you can customize the RGB in the NZXT software to suit your build. And of course, it does come in black and white as well. As I said, 240, 280, 360 millimeter variants, but they still have all of their old fans as well and some new ones. So let's check them out over here. Now, for those of you who don't like RGB, NZXT has another option. So this is their F120P and F140P. It comes in black and white. So these are actually performance fans. They're very high static pressure. So these are actually really good for water cooling. If you have a radiator and the FPI is very high, the fins are dense, Static pressure actually helps push air through them and force air through them. So absolutely perfect for water cooling. However, if you're not doing water cooling, they actually have their brand new quiet edition flow fans. So these have fantastic airflow, but they're super quiet operation. So this is NZXT's brand new power supply. It is platinum rated 1500 watt. And we have two 12 volt high powered connections on here. It's also ATX 3.1 compatible. Also completely modular and it is very silent operation but wait there's more <laughs> we've got the C series gold rated power supply so it's gonna be a little cheaper but this is NZXT's first white power supply now this looks super clean I love how they've implemented the little badging right there just looks really nice and premium to me again this one does have a 12 volt high powered connection only one of them this time but gold rated still a really nice power supply and so for anyone with a white build definitely one to consider so now that we've talked about all of the products, let's actually see how they look in a build. This is a completely 
blacked out build here. So this is one of the two examples that we wanted to show you guys. This is the brand new H7 case. Lots of NZXT peripherals. Let's take a look at the white setup. And here is the full white setup. Of course, we got brand new case in white. We've got all of the peripherals here. Looks absolutely clean. So guys, check it out if you're interested. Feast your eyes.